Hey guys, how's it crack a And welcome back to another episode of Beth and Tries. God, do you know what? I just scratched my leg. Now it's bleeding. Ah. Basically, I'm a walking disaster. I am not afraid to admit that. Uh, anyway, life has been weird recently. I'm sure you can tell, maybe, if you care that I haven't posted any videos in a while. But this video is about my eyebrow tattoos. Well, kind of. That's not like officially what they're called, but that's basically what they are. Semi-permanent tattoo on my brows. Eh, 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 eh. So yes, believe it or not, my brows used to look like this. I overplucked them a lot as a teenager and basically they grew out, but then they grew out and kind of like this. No matter how much I got them tweezed or waxed, they never kept their shape. They always kind of fell down. They just, yeah, they just, they just never looked like good unless they were like thin. You know, that was the only way you could really get them to keep their shape. And I didn't like that. So I decided, like an adult, to get some eyebrow tattoos. Uh, so for a little bit of context, I decided not to wear any makeup today because the one thing that I was looking for when I went through this experience was something that looked natural that wouldn't look too bold without makeup. Now this isn't something that I kind of jumped into. I think I'd heard about microblading for a couple of years. And in the last year or so, I started kind of doing my own research and finding different technicians that were in my area. I ended up coming across a beautiful woman's page called Clarissa Stefania. She is amazing. She's such a great technician. And I basically stopped the page for a while just like seeing all the different girls that she did brows for and like the before and afters. And yeah, I was just like, I'm gonna bite the bullet, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go. What we ended up doing in the end was something called micropigmentation, which is quite different to microblading uh, in the sense that microblading is when you individually cut in every hair and with micropigmentation it's more like a tiny needle that kind of just goes very very fast so she'll do like your standard outline and then she'll shade slowly getting lighter in so you kind of get this more ombre natural effect where your eyebrows will be you know less full in the front. I decided to go with that because I really wanted a more natural feel rather than kind of block your eyebrows even though I have seen some amazing microbladed eyebrows. Before I go any further I actually asked you guys to tweet me in questions and I feel like I'll fill in the blanks if there is anything that you guys missed out that you want to know. Is it more cost effective than buying new makeup products over a period of time? The short answer to that is probably not. For two sessions which is kind of standard to get your perfect brows um, it's gonna cost you £350, at least with Clarissa, but that is kind of like the standard face value for like nice looking brows. Now, if you're just putting it down to is it worth it in price, I personally feel like it's worth it. Obviously, it is cheaper to use makeup products to fill in your brows, but it really depends what like what you're trying to get out of the experience. Overall, I am so much happier with my face and it is just cleaned up time for me and cleaned up frustrated moments in the morning when I can't get them right and I feel more confident and I wear less makeup uh, now. So yeah, overall, it's been really cool. Does it make waxing slash tweezing easier? Absolutely for sure because you've already got your tattoo there pluck or wax outside of the tattoo lines You know when Clarissa mapped out my eyebrows, you know, she drew them on first But she drew them on with a stencil so they are perfectly even Whereas for example if you drew in your own eyebrows and then plucked them They still might not be even so for that reason it's made everything so much easier. How long does an average session take? Your appointment will likely be an hour. It might not take that long. It might do, depending on your technician. We were chatting a lot and also waiting for the like numbing cream and things in between and taking breaks in between. So for that reason, it probably takes about an hour, but really the actual time that you're getting it done isn't an hour, but your session will be an hour. Probably. That'll be for your first session and then you'll wait for them to heal, come back in six weeks and then have like another hour and they'll probably look great after that point. Um, some people need a third session but honestly it just depends on your skin type and your aftercare. How much does it hurt if at all? Now this is the part that I don't like to share. It's quite funny, I didn't actually do any research into the kind of pain side of things. It's really weird, it was like I knew I was getting a tattoo but I was like how bad can it be? Really? Um, so, yeah, it was hell. 
<laughs> it was it was painful but one thing that you do have to remember is I've never broken a leg I've never had a tattoo before I've never experienced any kind any high kind of pain apparently it is more painful than a rib tattoo I personally never even had a tattoo let alone a rib tattoo but it is because your brow bone there's so much bone underneath and I think that is the reason it hurts so much it's over quickly and one thing to remember is it's not gonna hurt the same amount throughout all of the session one thing Clarissa does is she puts numbing cream on before and it really doesn't make a difference when you um go in the first time it hurt a lot and like I cried I'm gonna be honest but it was over in a matter of minutes and then after that she puts in the numbing cream and obviously that sets right into the skin because you've already kind of been cut in a way like you've got tiny tiny little incisions across your eyebrow and so the numbing cream just sets right in and then after that I did feel very very minute amount of pain but that was only on the arch everywhere else on the brow I didn't actually feel any pain um, all I could feel was the buzzing from the needle it kind of felt like a mobile phone like a tiny little mobile phone on my face <laughs> was there any swelling and bruising once it was done and what is the aftercare like I don't think I really experienced any swelling or bruising there was a little bit of redness around my eyebrows just after they had it done but that went pretty immediately they felt quite sensitive I got it done in the afternoon and in the evening they felt quite sensitive when I moved my eyebrows it was like ow 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 so I really tried not to like move and express my face too much but by the next day pretty much completely any like bad sensation had gone in it and the aftercare is basically you don't want to get them wet I think for around 10 days I mean each technician will you know tell you differently um, but yeah I think my technician said that I shouldn't get my eyebrows wet for 10 days um, and also she'll give you an aftercare tattoo cream which you put on in the morning and in the evening your eyebrows are gonna be darker straight after you have them done and they're gonna progressively get lighter and like I said this will happen over about two weeks you might look a little bit crazy for the first couple of days or so and then after that they will start to flake off and they will get lighter and then they will get a little bit darker it's really really weird actually because when mine started flaking getting so light I was like what the hell like I knew it was gonna happen but I was still surprised by it before you even know it the color will be back and by the time you go in for your second session the second time round it heals so quickly and you have perfect brows in no time and it's so awesome <laughs> like I remember just a few days after I was just like I feel great my eyebrows look wicked and I was just so happy you know you have to be careful and I know it's a little bit of a pain not getting your eyebrows wet obviously you can shower just be careful when you're washing your face be careful otherwise you're just wasting money and then you're gonna have to go in and get them evened out again so just be patient and careful and you will have the absolute best results I just want to say again that Clarissa Stefania is honestly an amazing brow technician she did such an amazing job with the micropigmentation she cares so much about her clients and making sure they look amazing she's an absolute professional and based in Milton Keynes and yeah I just I honestly recommend her if you live around the London area or can get to Milton Keynes because she's honestly fantastic and you won't be disappointed if you are going to go to somewhere else all I can say is just make sure you do your research make sure you check out plenty of before and after photos so you know kind of like what you're getting into um, but yeah I'm just so thrilled with my experience overall and I'm so happy and it just makes me feel so much more confident without makeup after all of my years of over plucking and yeah I just feel pretty fantastic about it so and my eggs are so itchy today are the mosquito bites like trying to kill me my god anyway guys I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm kind of going crazy anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time